what's up everybody this is your boy mr pound for pound himself and it is definitely going down and it went down last night you know what i'm saying everyone saw it if you didn't saw it i don't know where were you or what rock you were under you should have crawled up under it you were probably hiding out with the taliban or something that'd probably be the only way you missed this fight or what happened and i'm sure they even saw what happened i mean it was you know hit headlines around the world Manny Pacquiao versus Juan Manuel Marquez, the fourth fight, and everyone knows what happens. That brutal knockout by Juan Manuel Marquez just came out of nowhere, and I'm just going to touch base on that a little bit and go over it and give you my thoughts of what I thought about the fight, as well as my prediction uh, previous to the fight, and then uh, what I thought, you know, just pretty much what I think now and what's going to happen in the future. So uh, Manny Pacquiao, Juan, Mar Juan Manuel Marquez, we know previously they had three hot contested fights we know that they were both contra i mean all three were controversial um you know the first two could have went either way the third fight looked more like a one man well marquez fight um even though you know that that didn't go his way as well but um this fourth fight, there was no denying. Hands down, there was a clear winner. Juan Manuel Marquez with the knockout KO victory in round six over Manny Pacquiao. And um, I'm just going to touch on that. Actually, as far as my prediction, I did predict Manny Pacquiao to win the fight. I thought there was just too much going on as far as, you know, Juan Manuel Marquez. I thought, you know, the age would take... Uh, you know, I thought the age would make a difference for sure. He, he was older in the fight. You know, times passed. Also, the change in his uh, training camp, you know, and going to this new muscular and more strength endurance type of training, I thought that would be a little different. You know, usually when fighters change things up, especially late in their career, they don't really pan out. I mean, if you go back and look in time and just look at all the fighters that have made late changes late in their career, they never really panned out. Um, but <laughs> that wasn't the case yesterday. Um, so, you know, a lot of things were, were, were taken taking place that i looked at and was like hmm, this fight's very interesting at first i know a lot of people didn't think much of this fight i personally didn't think much of the fight really didn't want to see it but as you start getting into it and start researching and start looking at it more you started to realize hey this fourth fight is actually kind of cool because you know pacquiao came off the loss to bradley um we all know pacquiao is a highly emotional fighter we know his confidence was probably a little low coming in the fight especially fighting a guy who he knows is a puzzle to him and Marquez, highly motivated. I mean, you could see his body at the weigh-in was ripped and chiseled um, at the age he's at. Um, he looked ripped and ready for the fight to prove that he wanted to, you know, change the decisions that happened in the past and make uh, a solid decision on what happened last night. And that's what he did. As far as the fight itself, um, I thought it was a great fight. You know, in the beginning stages of the fight, um, I thought Manny Pacquiao came out with a good strategy. I thought he had, he looked good. Manny Pacquiao looked good. Now, first and foremost, I, the one thing I hate about YouTube, one thing I hate about people in general, right? It's a funny thing to say, what I hate about people. And the reason why I say what I hate about people is because people get funny when they want to. You know what I mean? The thing I hate is I, I don't want to hear people say Pacquiao shot. I don't want to hear them say, that he's a bum. I don't want to hear them say that he's no good. He never fought nobody. This has exposed him. I don't want to hear people say that. Um, make excuses, pretty much. And then I don't want to hear people say on the flip side that, oh, well, this just proves that Marquez won every other fight. This doesn't prove a damn thing. The only thing it proves is that Marquez won the fourth fight. Uh, the other fights were close. He didn't get the nod. You know, and there's always going to be speculation but no one knows. And until you actually sit down with the judge and Bob Arum and actually have a detailed conversation, it's just all going to be speculation. So why stress over it? But what Marquez did do was win the fourth fight distinctively. So first and foremost, let's just cut out all the garbage that's going to be thrown around this fight. If you're watching this video, you got to watch it with an open mind. Now, <clears throat> the way I saw the fight going, I saw Manny Pacquiao doing good. I saw the fight going well for him. I saw him, he made a lot of adjustments. He came into the fight with some head movement, you know, a lot different than what we saw before. I actually made a comment during the fight saying he's moving his head like Tyson. And it was funny because like two seconds later, I think in between the rounds, they showed Mike Tyson. But anyways, Manny Pacquiao was staying on the outside. He was, it looked like a boxing at first with Marquez. It, it looked like he was tentative. He was trying to stay, you know, 
It wasn't trying to get too aggressive because he knows how Marquez can be and let off with his punches. And Marquez, on the flip side, looked good, too. He wasn't too aggressive. He was patient. You know, he's trying to establish a jab, trying to establish those counter punches, which he's known for the best. Manny Pacquiao was actually utilizing a little bit of a jab. And, you know, he, he does his Manny Pacquiao things, which he comes in with aggression. He throws the hard one, too, and he lets off flurries. That's pretty much Manny Pacquiao. And um, he looked good, though. He looked a lot more under control early in the fight and he looked like he had a game plan now it wasn't until round three two or three i believe i think it was around the beginning of round three or somewhere around there when marquez landed a huge right hand that knocked him down um which uh you know sent pacquiao to the floor and uh it was a beautiful shot a hard shot hard a nicely placed overhand right which is what you want to throw when a guy has his guard high and toward the middle and what i mean at high and toward the middle is when his gloves are more they're, they're up above his face, but they're more toward his cheekbones than they are toward his temples. And that's kind of how Pacquiao had his hands when that punch was thrown, and Marquez just timed it right, threw it right, and it landed perfect. Pacquiao didn't see it coming, and it stunned him, knocked him down, rocked him. I personally thought, as well as the people watching the fight with me, that the fight was over at that moment. I thought Pacquiao was hurt. I didn't think he was going to recover. I thought, you know, Marquez is going to swarm him with his technique, and he has technical combination punching he's gonna knock Pacquiao out right now that wasn't the case Pacquiao rallied back he came back strong looked good and uh recovered you know in the next rounds uh, down the line uh four and five he looked pretty good too the fight was had its ebbs and flows and that was really great about this fight it didn't look one-sided like everyone always tries to say about oh well the Marquez beat Pacquiao so one-sided in the third fight or you know it was a close fight either which way ironically this this wasn't a blowout or controversial in any way it looked like it looked like it was warming up to be a great fight i thought it had the fight gone past six rounds this would have been the greatest out of the four fights it, it had drama it had excitement the house that i was in the people there were screaming at the top of their lungs we had the surround sound up so loud that i could barely hear the person next to me um and it was so fun we you know we're all having fun and a great time it was just the 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 atmosphere uh, was was great that they those two those two fighters put on. Um, now as far as the finish, because we all know what happened prior to the finish, Manny Pacquiao did knock Marquez down. Um, it, you know, I've heard I've read blogs and stuff saying you know it, that the knockdowns, the Pacquiao knockdown was harder than the Marquez knockdown. That's absolutely true. It was the Mar. I'm I'm sorry. The the Pacquiao knockdown. I read blogs that the Marquez knockdown was harder than the Pacquiao knockdown, meaning that when Marquez knocked Pacquiao down, it was harder and more effective than when Pacquiao mark, knocked Marquez down. I do agree with that. I think that when Marquez knocked Pacquiao down, it was hard. It was He didn't see it coming. When Pacquiao knocked Marquez down, I, I don't think Marquez saw that punch coming too either, but it was in an exchange. Things were heated, and uh, you know Pacquiao was landing some good shots and happened to knock Marquez down, knocked him off balance and knocked him down. And Marquez is a very balanced, very technical fighter, so you know that he was hurt. Marquez doesn't lose balance like that all the time. He doesn't lose balance that often. If you look at his base and look at his legs, he is very balanced. He has most of his balance and body weight in between the middle of his body. That's why he's able to shift forward and able to shift backwards. He's very good with his counter punching because he could shift because his balance is so perfect in the middle of his frame. Now... You know, Pacquiao knocked him off balance. He was definitely hurt by that knock knockdown. Now, my my honest assessment of the actual knockout, it was a counter shot by Marquez. Beautifully placed, beautifully timed, and uh, he did catch Pacquiao coming in. If you guys actually rewatch the fight, you can see Pacquiao like was off his feet, almost like in the air while he was coming in with his shots. Now, the thing about Pacquiao, the mistakes he made amateur mistakes mistakes that i wouldn't even make fighting a marquez is that you never leave your feet ever i don't care how much power you think you're going to put into the shot i don't care how confident you are about having the guy knocked out like pacquiao was i don't care how good you feel in the ring you never leave your feet you never you never want to overextend your punch or overextend anything your body weight he did all that. Pacquiao did all that in that one single punch, and that's why that one punch knocked him out so brutally. Pacquiao's been hit with counter right hands before. He's been hit with punches like that before by Marquez. I've seen Pacquiao's head go knocked back, get knocked back to where Pacquiao could see the damn lights in the ceiling. He's been hit with that same shot. 
The difference is, is the way he got hit. I truthfully, honestly do believe Pacquiao. I do believe he was a little overconfident. I do believe he had Marquez hurt. And I do believe that at the time that Marquez was hurt, Pacquiao was like, yes, I finally, finally got this guy ready to go in front of me, standing up, fourth fight, let's end this. I want to knock him out. I want to get him out of there. And he left himself open in the process. Um, whose fault is that? Manny Pacquiao's. Uh, whose fault also could that be? You could blame for that? Freddie Roach. Uh, defense, you know, Manny Pacquiao doesn't have the best technique. He doesn't have the best defense, but he's still a great fighter. He brings a lot of speed, power, endurance, and technicality into the ring. That's why he's one of the greatest of our era. And as well as, you know, Juan Manuel Marquez. Um, not saying that Marquez got lucky or anything by any means because he did place the punch. He saw Pacquiao coming in. And he, he threw the punch and landed it perfect. He, it's not more luck than it is right time, right place. He caught Pacquiao at the right time. He caught Pacquiao at the right moment when Pacquiao was excited. He had a little confidence going. And uh, Marquez did what he had to do. He threw that counter shot. It landed beautifully. It landed as perfect as it could land. Um, any counter shot. I mean, that's exactly what you want counter punches to look like. You know, that's what, counter, that's what a technique, that's what a technical counter punch should look like. Is a, is a sharp shot boom you're out you know what i'm saying that's perfect counter punching and he did that to manny pacquiao so marquez took advantage of a good situation he saw the opening he saw hey you know what i'm able to compose even though i'm hurt I, i'm able to stay composed i can see manny okay i'm gonna let this i'm gonna let this shot go and he did and he caught manny and that's what you do as a fighter as a as a prize fighter as an amateur fighter any fighters out there whenever you're in trouble if you're not going to get on your bike and run, then you do technical counter punching with a high defense, high guard. Um, and that's exactly what Marquez, Marquez did. So you can either get on your high horse. You got two choices. You get hurt. You can either, you got three choices. I'm sorry. You get hurt. You can either take a knee. You get hurt. You can either get up and get on your high horse and start running or moving or boxing, whatever term that you want to use. Um, or you can do technical counter punching with a high good defense, which is what Marquez did last night and caught Manny Pacquiao coming in. Um, beautiful shot, beautiful place. Now, like I said, there's going to be, I, I've heard it already. I've talked to friends, family, confidants that I do boxing with. I'm already hearing excuses. I'm already hearing Pacquiao wasn't that great. I'm already hearing just a whole bunch of BS. The bottom line is this, that both guys are great. Both guys are great fighters. Both guys have a great legacy. They just happen to fight each other and have ugly fights. Now, in the fourth fight, it didn't go Pacquiao's way. Doesn't mean the whole past was unwritten, and it doesn't mean the whole past was fake. The past fights were still fights, and they still had their own separate decisions, different judges. This fight was a different fight. This fight was the fourth. It was different. It was in 2012. It was in a different time in their lives. It was in a different era in their lives. These were different fighters fighting. You had a congressman in there, and you had a hard-nosed Mexican boxing analyst in there. Uh, you know, something that they weren't when they first met up the first time. So no one was the same in that ring, you know. Um, so no excuses for Pacquiao, no excuses for Marquez. It was a great fight. They both fought a good fight. Personally, I thought Manny Pacquiao was ahead as far as intentions. A little, barely, just a little before that knockout fight. It was pretty close to even, but you would have said Pacquiao was a little bit ahead because Marquez was hurt, and Marquez was, he was badly hurt and probably on his way out. Now, toward the end of the fight, when, when Pacquiao did have Marquez hurt, that showed Pacquiao's flaws. Pacquiao's flaws was patience. The number one flaw Pacquiao had last night was patience, which is one of the best qualities a great boxer has. So if you really wanted to say Pacquiao's not great because his legacy's tarnished because this just proves that he lost to Marquez all the other times. No, I'm not going to say that because it's not what happened in history. But what I will say is this Pacquiao, if anyone was like, you know what? Pacquiao's not a great fighter because Great fighters don't get caught with shots like that. Great fighters know, even in their old advanced age, just do this, do that, do this, do the other. They don't go out face first, flat, ass in the air, you know, like one of my friends told me. That was pretty funny. 
and they, they don't they don't go out like that. And I would say, you know what? Hey, I agree. Great fighters don't get knocked out like that. You never saw Mike Tyson get knocked out like that. Never seen Sugar Ray Robinson get knocked out like that. Um, we've yet to see Floyd Mayweather get knocked out that the great Floyd Mayweather that everyone claims is great. Um, you just, you know, I don't know. There's, there's, there's certain things that I believe at an elite level that all professional fighters should have. There should be no reason for you, even overconfident or not. Patience would have won the day for Pacquiao. If he was patient, took his time, took a step back, had Marquez hurt, took a couple steps back, look at him, assessed him, and then went on and said, you know what, I'm going to work this, I'm going to work this, I'm going to work this, then I believe he knocked Marquez out last night. He would have knocked him out. There'd be no Manny Pacquiao knockout articles on the, on the web. There'd be Marquez getting knocked out in six. Had he took his time and been patient, but he wasn't. Now, you can either say that that was a flaw in skill, or you can just say that it was confidence and he was excited in the moment. And that's why being a boxing analyst like I am myself and a, and a boxer and a current boxer, um, you have to be really, really analytical on, all, on both sides. You can't just pick a side and run with it. You can't just say, well, I, I like Marquez. And then, then, when, then when he beats Pacquiao, you go, oh, and then, you know, go on and on and on about how Pacquiao's not this and not that and, Mar- you know, whatever. You can't do that. You have to look at both sides objectively, give both sides credit, and then make either a prediction or a post-fight video. But no guy, to me, loses stock in this. Pacquiao, to be honest, I'd like to see him fight again. Do I think he's um, slipping off? Not really, because if you think about it, the the Pacquiao-Bradley fight was still a landslide victory in my mind for Pacquiao in a lot of people's minds. Actually, last night when when I was watching the fight with a lot of people, they still were talking about the Pacquiao-Bradley fight, saying they can't believe Bradley won the fight. And I still don't believe Bradley won the fight. So is Pacquiao slipping and sliding? I don't think so. Um, but now it's different because now he's suff- He's coming off a brutal knockout loss. So it's a little different now. You know, we don't know how he's going to recover. We don't know if he's going to recover. We don't know if he's going to have a, a, a fear of getting hit after that. I mean, people, people change after knockout losses. You know, it changes people. It's a, it's a concussion. You know, it's something that happens to your, the neurons in your brain, you know, um, it does something to you. So can he come back now and be a different fighter now? Who knows? We won't know until we see him in the media talking, hear his speech, you know, a few months from now, see how his speech is doing, see how he's doing physically, any headaches in the, in the near future, any kind of, you know, speech problems. Like I was just saying, I mean, we noticed it with Shane Mosley when he was kind of slipping, sliding off a little bit. Um, we don't know yet, but we'll see. But as far as Pacquiao, I think, um, what I would do if I was Pacquiao was I would take an immediate rematch. Um, that's just me. I would take an immediate rematch. And and because if if he knows that his confidence is what did him in, then you go back and you fix that problem. You, you, you train patience. You know what I'm saying? You train on how to not be in the situation and actually be a professional and take your time and break him down. Marquez last night was the professional. He was hurt. He had a broken nose, his nose was busted, bleeding all over the place. And you know what he showed? Patience. He showed absolute patience in the ring. He showed that I'm going to stay calm even though I'm, an, I'm, I'm under the fire. I'm still going to stay calm and land my shots. I'm going to look for a shot. And that's what a seasoned boxer does. So Marquez with the brutal knockout victory in four rounds over Manny Pacquiao. That wasn't my prediction. But it was a beautiful fight. And personally, I think it was great for boxing. I think it did boxing good. You know, in the whole debate about boxing versus MMA, there is no debate to me. And I'll go head to head with any MMA guy in the world that says MMA is a better sport than boxing or this, that, and the other about boxing. You know, the funny thing I find out is that the Pacquiao May the Pacquiao Marquez fight wasn't a big fight for everyone until last night like no one really cared about the fight until friday saturday night then people started ordering you know oh shit what was that hey where are you watching the fight where are you watching the fight oh well, let's watch the fight together like no one really cared until last minute boxing will never die never go away and it's fights like this 
that prove boxing is still the number one contact sport in the world. You know, um, there's just, it's not, not drama. You don't see drama like this in any other sport. I mean, shy of Giant Silva beating Emelian Ankle Fedor in Strike Force, that was pretty shocking. But it wasn't a one punch knockout in a close fight. It didn't happen like, whoa. Like, no, you know, no one went, whoa. That was a, the Fedor Giant Silva fight in the MMA. That was a, a brutal, just one sided beating and smashing, and then he got beat. Boxing just brings these type of thrills. And, and, and once again, I'll, a, a, anyone out there listening to this video, if you think boxing's fake, think again. If you think it's fixed, think again if you think you know that i i don't i'm I'm not gonna say that none of the fights are fixed i do believe some fights have some advantages in the decisions but i do believe during the fight itself during the actual three minutes of combat there ain't no there ain't no promoters in that ring protecting you whatever goes down in those three minutes goes down if you make it to the judges cards Hey, maybe there might be some color nostro going on. And if you guys don't know what color nostro is, you know, for all the non hardcore boxing people that don't box or don't really know boxing that much, color nostro is another term for the mafia, which was big, 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 big in boxing back in the 40s and 50s. Um, and probably still is. You never know. But no evidence of that. You don't really, you didn't see that last night. Last night was like, a breath of fresh air to know that there's no bullshit in boxing. The Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao stuff, that whole situation, you know now that most of it probably wasn't fabricated because they were still trying to make that fight. And the fact that Marquez one punch knock knockout of Manny Pacquiao should show you that there's no implications of of wrongdoings or paying off people or or anything because Marquez surely did not get paid off last night (laughs) if anything he's getting paid off now with some highlight reels and 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 you know he's probably getting some uh promotional deals and stuff but uh it was a beautiful night of boxing I actually think last night hey I love Manny Pacquiao I love Marquez I love them both uh Pacquiao personally is I like him a little better but I still like Marquez just as close the same great fighters but if i had to pick one i say hey you know i go with manny but as far as last night they put on a show that will always be remembered in boxing that last night i love boxing you know what i'm saying deep down in my heart and last night was to me a turning point not a not a turning point in boxing but it was just like an like an upgrade you know what i mean like i felt something in my heart when marquez knocked pacquiao out, and it wasn't anger it wasn't anything i felt like this joyful love for boxing that i don't know unless you're a boxer you just deep into it you are a pugilist like i am you you don't feel that type of feeling it was like it it wasn't i can't explain it it was just my love for the sport and the reason why and when i saw that i was like this is why i love boxing anyways mr pound for pound signing off i haven't talked to you guys in a minute hope you like the video Hey, I wanted to say a lot more in this video, but I'm already at the 23 minute mark and you guys are probably like, hey, shut the hell up. So I'm done. You guys have a good day. Peace.